Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm back. The um, conversation went well. The only change I made was um, you see some of these particles now that don't have trails. I changed that on purpose. I don't want all of the stuff that have trails. Some of that I just want parts flying. Uh, do, 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 do. I did that through here. If you see, uh, where, right, spawn zero one by travel. I lowered that to 50%, which means only half of the particles generated will be leaving trails. Will leave trails behind it. Um, I could lower that to 20, and even fewer parts now. Uh, or, of course, I could go back to 100. One, yeah, 100. I can lower this to five, make that thicker. So we'll make dots, and we will make them. We can leave them like a light blue. That's fine. We want to make them live a little longer. Um, 50 by 20. Maybe not as much divergence. Inherited 5. Divergence 10. And again, we'll um, we'll lower this to fifty percent. You gotta think each one of these like strands is gonna be uh, <clears throat> it's going to be it's going to be an afterburn smoke trail. Damn it! Phone call. Alright, so what I want to do now is I'm going to unhide my emitter plane. Unhide by name. Oh, particle emitter. And I want to make this bigger. Let's go 3,000 by 3,000. <clears> and we can populate it more also. Also, I'm going to have to move this guy from here. That's not nearly far enough now, is it? Here. And I can... Raise the diameter so it catches more of these guys. Bang, bang, bang. I mean, there's so many options you can do with this. I'm just going to do it straight across. Like, you can add noise movements to it or anything you want. Uh, so now I'm going to rehide the emitter plane. And I'm going to add more particles. Or Kiwi bots in this situation. 40. We'll double it. Maybe we can um, position object. Is there a seed on this? There is. Yeah, I like that. Pow. Or maybe we even make this last longer or sh 
I'm cutting it down shorter now, but I'm thinking maybe we'll make it last longer. Uh, 265. That looks good for now. I guess we'll just leave that. Turn on our shape. Geometry. Um, also, it's important to know that since we don't define shapes in any other, this could screw you too, so this is good to pay attention to this. Since we don't define shapes in any other event, they will just automatically take on the instanced shape that I did put in earlier. Um that's not good because if they inherit it and you have you know you know thousands of particles or more going in the scene all at once each one of those particles will represent come on what are you kidding me each one of those uh, particles will represent will represent a, another kiwi bot. So if we have thousands of particles and each particle represents a kiwi bot's worth of polygons, we're talking about big numbers here. So each particle represents, a, let's say, a, a thousand polys or whatever. So if you have a, a thousand particles, that's a thousand thousand. You know, that's a a lot of polys, and we have more particles happening than that, so <laughs> what you have to do is um, after that original, original shape instance, you want to put in another shape instance in event 2 right away, uh, and we'll put in a, we'll just put shape where are you at? There it is, shape uh, we'll make it 2D triangle we'll just make the size 0 because we don't need to see it we just want to make sure that that's what happens after that. So I turn off this shape instance. Well, I can't even show geometry because they're set at zero. But um, but make sure to get that done. Because otherwise, each one of these little blue particles will be another Kiwi bot. And boy, that's just something you don't want your computer trying to manage you will lose very very important mm. and uh, see the spacing between these particles I'm looking at that now and I don't know that I really like that I want to lower it I want to lower the step size we're just going to crunch these particles closer together. It's hard if they start falling apart as they get older because the afterburn um, meta particles that we put on there later will be blending together at that point. And that's kind of what we want anyway because we want it to have a gradual fall off. So that's fine. I mean, like, you could even put in a wind uh, space warp in here to to give them a little bit of a, you know, random directional change. I'm not going to do that, but you could do that. <laughs> 